Yi? Huh-uh. Yif. Wow. Yai. What's up, everyone? This is Mark Ashton with you. So, every language has all kinds of exclamations that aren't actually words, but obviously have a meaning. Think of wow or ew. Now, the Middle East is not exempt from this. So here are a few sounds that we make that aren't words, but clearly have a meaning. Number one. Yi. Yi? 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 Yi alena. Yi is commonly used to express surprise. It's something of an OMG. Oh my god. Yi? Shantamil. Yi I don't want to go. Yi alena. Hello. Would you like to leave a message? Yi. I'm going to talk to telephone. Hi, Tita. Yi, 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 yi. Well, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going How could you say no? Number two, ulo. La ulo. Ulo is something of a, come on, seriously, man. La ulo. Le kbas hel marra ulo. Number three, three, three. Whichever you prefer. Ah, oh, relax. Generally, you'll hear people say it when they're proud of someone. I got A plus on my exam. Ah, ya mark. Ah, hey the haki. And it's usually followed by the person's name. It's like a way to go or yeah. Ah. Number four. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh means no. That's right. We have a glottal stop right in the middle. Uh-uh. You see, in English, we have uh-huh to say yes, but in Arabic, we have the exact opposite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It feels like a no with attitude. Uh-uh. When do you use uh-uh? When you don't feel like saying no or la. When your mouth is obstructed. Uh-uh. When today you don't feel like words. When you want to go back to simpler times where basic sounds were enough. Akelet? Huh. Akito? Huh. Shubek? Mabul? Huh. Badak masari? Huh. Okay, Asan. And sometimes you can even do it while keeping your lips closed. Hmm. It's like there's degrees of no. Hmm. Huh. La. Number five. Yai. That's right. This is the Middle Eastern equivalent of wow. Yai shu hello. Like shamis. Like nur. So that's version one. Version two is actually wow, but with an Arabic accent, which sounds like this. Whoa, whoa. Like the letter wow in Arabic. Whoa. So really, instead of a W-O-W, -W, it's really a W-A-W. Wow. Number six. If That's generally used for either surprise or annoyance. Chas. If Yo, he fell right on his face. If No way, bro. Sometimes you'll even hear a T at the end of if when you're annoyed. Chalas ba'a. Ift. That's right. Ift. I believe, however, this is the more modern take on the traditional sound. Uff. Number seven. Ah. That's right. When it comes to temperature, we in the Middle East have our own way of dealing with it. By using the letter H in Arabic. Hot, cold, refreshing. Ah. Is the way to go. Ah. Ah. It's so cold. Ah. Ah. Now that's refreshing. Number eight. Nya. Nya. That's right. Just like you in English, we have Nya. Nya. Ma'rafa. True, I'm cleaning my nose. Turn around. Look, Nya. And this is my two year old. Nya, uh, what is this? He looks like an alien. And finally, number nine. Ya. Ya, Mark. So that sound is used as an emphasis to call someone's attention. The closest translation to that sound would be O, O Mark, O Mark, Ya, Ya Ho, Ya Mark, Ya Mark, Tal Haun. Shoot it, Tita. Allah yirda alayk, jibli kibayt mai. Walak tikram aynik. So there you go, Middle Eastern exclamations to add to your database. So tell me what kind of exclamations do you use? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Thank mm -hmm. you.